I think it's a it's a community that's changing. It's a very exciting city to be a part of. It's an amazing community. It's a really engaged, involved community. A city of trying to create a place that's just for everyone, not just those that can afford it, but everyone that's here. People come to every conversation with experience, education, background, ideas. It's it's very eclectic. Eclectic's great. In Santa Monica, over 43% of the population are deriving their business from the creative arts sector. Six times the national average. So Santa Monica is really a haven for the arts. As big as we grow, we truly are a beach town community. There are a number of challenges that uh, St. Joseph Center faced uh, along with many other nonprofits. Decreased donations, increased need, we serve about 400 individuals and families every week. It's been up about 30% in the number of families and individuals visiting us since the economic downturn. So we have just coming out from probably one of the toughest years that we've experienced in, our, uh, in recent history in education. You know, the recession started in 2008 and we saw what was happening around us. Uh, with the recession beginning. We knew that it hit us about two years later. Now, no one anticipated the depth of this recession, so uh, neither did we. When the economy is suffering, we suffer as a school district, so it's always a challenge. We really are constantly doing more with less. You know, I think the not knowing exactly what's going to happen with health care reform is one of the biggest challenges. We're already planning around how can we reduce the cost of care but not impact the quality of care to the patient. But we all suffer, you know. People have cut back on spending, um, leisure travel, business travel. But, you know, we've all survived. And that's the best part of the story. Fortunately, in the last uh, year, work has picked up. Obviously Santa Monica is going to see, I've already seen it, a resurgence of sort of professionals moving into the area. They're going to need care for their children and their families and we're well prepared to do all of that right now. I am super excited about the Expo line. I cannot tell you. It's coming right behind our property. One of the most striking areas of our success was getting a number of very vulnerable mentally ill, homeless clients off the streets and into permanent supportive housing. So we have a lot in our future, I think, to make sure that our students are really ready for innovative jobs, creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, communication, all the things that we know our, our learners are going to need to be successful in the work world. The college wants to continue to make sure that we're relevant and working with our partners here in the local community to make sure that our education may, uh, remains pertinent subject areas that we're dealing with are relevant to the industry and the people that we have going to school here. You know, we've, we've been in the community for almost 25 years. We want to really be thinking about uh, the next hundred years. What we want to do is continue to be better. With change must come flexibility. And we all have to live through all of this construction and this sometimes inconvenience that happens throughout our day but in the end, it's gonna be worth it. As I think about going forward, I think about togetherness and collaboration. You know, we're, we're recovering, taking baby steps. People of this community, both within our government and our business and our residents, are committed to this, the success of this community. It will take a web of people interconnected, collaborating, sharing resources, and, and getting it done. That kind of collective impact, that kind of community support is I think unique to our community and it's something that I'm loving being a part of. We hope to, by staying here and staying connected with them, that uh, we can all move forward. We have something to offer them, they have a lot to offer us, and uh, by working together we're, we're going to do great things.